Hey guys, in this video I'll be taking a look back at quite possibly the most dominant Olympia victory of all time, or at least Phil Heath's most decisive win, the 2013 Mr. Olympia. This Olympia is up there with years like 2003, 2009, and 1993 as Phil came in and absolutely shut the door on all of his competition. I'll be judging this comparison in the same way I do with every three-way video by giving the winner of each pose three points, the runner-up two, and the last place one. Now, before the video does start, a like and sub would really be much appreciated and would help out the channel a lot. With that all being said though, let's get into this video. Starting off this comparison is the front double biceps pose, and from left to right is Dennis Wolf, Phil Heath, and Kai Green. Immediately, I am drawn to the massive arms of Kai, especially those peaky biceps, which are almost reminiscent of Ronnie Coleman. His wider structure and flaring lats help create for a very dominant looking upper body, however his midsection is the worst out of the three in the pose. Phil does look good showcasing huge separated arms, great forearms, and bulging lats, however his midsection is also not the best. While Dennis may have the worst, least freaky looking arms, his taper structure and midsection are by far the best in the callout. All three have great quads, however, I think that Phil has the best combination of size, definition, and completeness, especially in that lower body. I mean, look at the calves. They are better than Dennis's, and he definitely outconditions Kai in the overall leg department. For the overall pose, I'd say that it's definitely a win for Phil, since he has the conditioning, he has the size, and he has the flow. Both Kai and Dennis have more flaws and don't flow as well as Phil in my opinion. However, I would have Kai slightly over Dennis for his better arms, calves, and he also flows a little bit better too in my opinion. The front lat spread is probably Phil's worst pose in the comparison as he is the narrowest and presents the least polished overall pose. Although he has some great individual body parts, namely the arms, delts, lats, and quads, his rounded chest and narrow clavicles make the pose look a bit awkward. In contrast, Dennis looks near perfect with that massive, super wide, you know, amazing structure, huge flaring lats, and picturesque posing. Sure, he doesn't have any calves to speak of, however, his posing and flow are spot on. Kai looks impressive as well, showcasing the best, lowly inserted lats, great width of his own, and solid arms and cap delts. However, his midsection is sort of bloated and he isn't as polished as Dennis. I'd give the point to Dennis here as he looks the best from a structural standpoint and is the most aesthetic, with Kai in a near second and Phil of course in third place. Here's the side chest and in this pose all three have some ridiculous looking side legs. Just take a look at that hanging hamstring on Dennis and tell me that he isn't smoking the other two in that area. Kai and Phil do hit right back though, presenting a considerable amount of intricate detail and definition in their side legs as well as superior upper bodies. Their shorter frames allow for their upper halves to look more compact, resulting in a denser look. Phil is probably the most captivating in the pose, as his immense fullness in the arm, side leg, and chest are on full display. Dennis and Kai both have similar chest and delt size fullness to Phil, however neither are as impressive in the arm, specifically the tricep and brachialis. While Kai may look super full, bubbly, and dense, I think that his rounded and bubbly looking midsection completely throws off the pose. I think that, you know, that alone would make him land in third place, as the other two have way more controlled and detailed midsections. Even though Dennis may have more raw size over Phil, Phil's compact, dense look, coupled with his insane chest, arm, and side leg conditioning, would be enough to win. The rear double is actually a lot closer of a pose than I imagined, as I thought that Phil would take it easily. In all actuality though, it seems like Kai is seriously pushing Phil if not beating him in the back and the arm departments. Sure, he doesn't have the same forearms nor the conditioning of the glutes, however he certainly has some crazy size in those quad and hamstrings, wider lats, and peakier biceps. Phil does have the superior conditioning overall as well as better delts, however nobody can touch you know, Dennis Wolf in that department from behind. To be fair, that is probably the only area in which Dennis beats the other two, as his back size and conditioning, along with his lower body separation, are not on par with Kai or Phil. Looking back at the front runners, it seems as if Kai is really winning upstairs. He is so wide developed and similarly detailed and has more freak factor where it counts. Phil isn't bad, if anything he should win due to his more uniform conditioning and three-dimensional pop, however my eyes are drawn to the freakier looking Kai. While it could go either way, I'm going to give this one to Kai with Phil in a very, very close second. 
The rear lat spread is one of those poses in which Phil doesn't dominate by sheer size, but rather through conditioning, 3D pop, and quality. Although he isn't the widest, if anything, he's the narrowest on stage. He has the best combination of three-dimensionality to the traps and lower back, tremendous thickness, and the best lower body. While Kai may have had similar definition to Phil in the last pose, here he really falls short in detail. His traps and lower back and really everything sort of mesh together, creating a undetailed slab of back muscle. Couple that with his slightly off lower body conditioning and you get a whole lot of muscle with a whole lot of lacking conditioning. Dennis does have solid detail in the back, however, he lacks the same lower back density of the other two, and he also has a thin film of water over his hamstrings and virtually zero glute definition, so I would have him in last place. Like the saying goes, quality over quantity, so Phil definitely steamrolls the competition by virtue of stellar conditioning and tremendous thickness and quality muscle. The side tricep is a pretty good pose for all three guys, as all three of them have well-controlled midsections, good arms, and great side legs. Once again, that hanging hamstring on Dennis looks amazing, and his huge triceps and great delt all look top tier. Phil probably has the best tricep in the shot, possessing a meaty, fully strided slab of tricep meat. He also has the most impressive side leg in my opinion, combining size and conditioning perfectly. Kai looks surprisingly good here as his midsection is controlled, his delt and triceps do look large and full, and his side leg is detailed but not presented in the best manner. Although all three do look very good, I'd have Kai in third place, Dennis in second, and Phil in first. Kai is in third because he has the worst tricep and the worst overall presentation. Dennis is in second because he has a solid total package, but does lack that top tier lower body conditioning. And Phil is in first place for pretty obvious reasons. The ab and thigh is probably the worst pose for all three as none of them stand out or have a great set of abs. Dennis has the most well-suited frame for the pose, showcasing a small waist and very solid taper, but has a really, really unesthetic set of abs. His quads are absolutely massive and cut as well, however those non-existent calves make his proportions look off in the lower half. Phil looks alright for Phil, showcasing his unsymmetrical yet controlled four-pack and top-tier quads, however his narrowness detracts from his potential V-taper. Kai has those nicely feathered quads, the most symmetrical abs, and quite possibly the most exaggerated V-taper thanks to those crazy lats, however his midsection looks a little round and bloated. Since none of them look good, it is extremely close here, however, I find myself leaning towards Kai. While he does have the widest waist, his abs are in check, his taper is the most dramatic, and his quads are large and nicely feathered. I'd probably go with Phil in second due to his superior, more complete lower half compared to Dennis, as well as a surprisingly more aesthetic midsection. Dennis isn't that bad at all, however, his taper isn't any better than Phil's, and those abs are just not my cup of tea. Personally though, I think that this one could go to any of them because none of them really stand out. The last pose of this comparison is the most muscular, and here it is really between Phil and Dennis. Kai's arms, while large from almost every angle, look stringy due to his lackluster triceps and forearms. His delts, traps, biceps, and chest are all very impressive. However, compared to Dennis and Phil, he does fall a little bit short. Phil and Dennis hit different variations, however, it is still very clear who wins in what area. Dennis clearly has some monstrous delts, traps, and arms, however Phil certainly wins in the arm fullness definition and shape, and has rounder, more three-dimensional looking delts. Moreover, Phil's chest is in a higher level of conditioning, however his narrowness is also exposed by Dennis's wide frame. I personally think that Dennis looks freakier in the pose, especially in those delts, however Phil's dense, compact muscularity looks impeccable as well. I think that the judges may prefer Phil due to his better conditioning, flow, and muscular density. However, Dennis is super impressive nonetheless. Alright guys, that about does it for this video. In summary, Phil won this comparison pretty comprehensively with 21 points, Kai in second with 15, and Dennis in third place with 13. I think that it was pretty clear that Phil absolutely dominated this comparison, comprehensively winning 5 out of the 8 poses with the most muscular being debatable, and really only losing the front lat spread and ab and thigh. Overall, I think Dennis and Kai were slightly off in condition relative to Phil and would have fared better if they were more dialed in. Anyways, let me know what you thought of this comparison in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like and sub would be much appreciated. And with that all being said, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.